Isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Narito ngayon tayo sa panibagong linggo ng pagkatuto. So, quarter 4, week 5 sa ating grade 8 mathematics. At ang topic natin sa araw na to, sa ating video na to, are, is the conditions under which lines and segments are parallel or perpendicular. So, ang objective natin is to determine the conditions under which lines and segments are parallel or perpendicular. So, simulan na natin. Ano nga ba ang parallel lines? Parallel lines are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart. So, meron tayong mga conditions of parallelism. Ibig sabihin, paano ba natin malalaman kung yung parallel lines or yung given na lines natin ay parallel sa isa't isa? If two lines are cut by transversal, then the two lines are parallel if. So, kung mapapansin niyo this topic had been already discussed before sa ating previous video. So, kung matatandaan niyo yung ating lesson natin doon, eh, matatalakay ulit natin sa ating video ngayon. So, if two lines are cut by transversal, then the two lines are parallel if, number one, Corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. And the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So, ito yung mga conditions on how we can determine if the given lines are parallel to one another. Ano naman ang mga examples nito? So, dito, we have to determine if the following lines are parallel by indicating the appropriate theorem or postulate in each item. So, simulan natin sa illustration na to. Ayan. So, we have the given 143 degrees and 143 degrees. So, we have to determine if this line is parallel to this line. And as you observe, by up Applying what we've learned before sa ating previous uh, video regarding the angle pairs, we can say 143 degrees and 143 degrees. 43 degrees are actually alternate interior angles. So, in this, uh, on this basis, uh, it is part of the conditions under parallelism, correct? So, ibig sabihin, they are parallel. So, by the alternate interior angles, which are congruent. So, itong isang pang figure. So, ang given measure natin, your angle measures natin, are 78 degrees and 102 degrees. And as you observed, 78 and 102 degrees are actually... Um, Corresponding angles, correct? So, let's recall what are corresponding angles and we can now uh, determine if this line is parallel to this line. So, therefore, they are not parallel since the given angles are said to be corresponding angles and they should be congruent. So, yung angle measures natin kasi 78 and 102, they are not congruent. Let's apply on finding the measure of x and y. And then, let's provide the reason for each equation. So, dito, we can use, we have uh, the angle measures, 37 degrees, 3x plus 4 degrees, and y degrees. So, we can start from 3x plus 4 and 37. As you observe, 
uh, we have the conditions here applied which are alternate interior angles and we all know na yung alternate interior angles ay congruent so ibig sabihin yung ating 3x plus 4 ay equal siya sa 37 so from this equation po makukuha natin yung measure ng x so magso subtract tayo ng 4 sa left subtract ng 4 sa right so we have 3x is equal to 37 minus 4 in 37 minus 4 ay 33. So, divided by 3 sa kaliwa at kanan. So, ang value ng x natin ay 11. Ayan. So, from that, magagamit natin yung ating obtained value para makuha naman natin yung value ng y. Kung mapapansin ninyo, class, since 37 and this one is also the same since they are alternate interior angles. We can have 37 and y, okay? This one, 3x plus 4 is also 37 and y is actually a linear pair. So, when we have linear pair, they are supplementary, okay? So, since 37 din to, tapos y din ito, itong part na to, they are considered as same side interior angles and same side interior angles are also supplementary. So, we can so we can use the 37 plus y is equal to 180 as an equation. So, magma minus lang po tayo. So, y is equal to 180 minus 37 that is 143. So, ang ating y is 143 degrees. And ating nakuhang value ng x kanina ay 11 and 143 for, uh, for the y. Ngayon, dumako naman tayo sa perpendicular lines. Ano ba ang perpendicular lines? Perpendicular lines or perpendicular lines are lines that intersect to form right angles. So, here are the following conditions of perpendicularity. Una, if two lines are perpendicular to each other, then they form four right angles. Second, if the angles in a linear pair are congruent, then the lines containing their sides are perpendicular. Third, if two angles are adjacent and complementary, the non-common sides are perpendicular. So, pag sinabing adjacent, they share common side. Complementary, ibig sabihin yung total ng given angles natin ay 90 degrees. So, let's have an example for this. Find the measure of x and y, then provide the reason for each equation obtained from the diagram. So, we have the angle measures here, 2x plus 5y degrees, 3x degrees, and we have the small square dito. So, yung small square indicates that this angle is a right angle, which measures 90 degrees. And we also have this kind of symbol. This symbol indicates that this line is parallel to this line. Okay? So, how can we solve for the value of x and y? Simulan po natin dito. Since this is 90 degrees and this is 3x degrees and we have this two lines parallel to one another and this line is a transversal, we can have the angle pair which is corresponding angles. So, 3x and right angle having 90 degrees are corresponding and corresponding angles are congruent. So, i-equate lang natin si 3x at si 90. So, divided by 3 sa parehong side, ang x natin ay 30. Ayan. So, meron na tayong value ng x. Hanapan, hanapin naman natin yung value ng y. Using the value obtained, 
uh, which is 30, we can substitute it since itong 2x plus 5y is also na, uh, right angle, 90 degrees. Kasi perpendicular nga po yung line na to dito sa line na to. And this angle is uh, and this angle is I mean, vertical angle sila. So, pag sinabing vertical angle sila, congruent sila. And then, ito rin naman, yung 3x degrees na to, na kung saan 90 din siya, tapos itong angle na to, ibig sabihin, alternate exterior sila. So, 90 degrees din siya. So, isa substitute lang naman natin siya. So, 2 times 30 plus 5y is equal to 90. So, 60 plus 5y is equal to 90. Magma-minus 60, uh, 60 tayo sa parehong side. So, 5y is equal to 30 divided by 5 left and right. Ang value ng y natin ay 6. So, the values are 30 and y. And that's the end of our discussion. Hope you learned today.